Boys and girls, welcome to grade five of our social studies corner. I am Mr. Sparb Dikanai, and our topic today is natural regions. What have you learned in your last lesson? In our last lesson, we learned some important places and places of interest in the hilly sand and clay region, tongues, linden, and bartica. Resorts, fun parks, waterfalls. Persons can travel by road from Georgetown through Linden and into Bartico. What have you learned? Linden is a mining town. Bartico is known as the gateway to the interior. The Cherry Jagan International Airport is found at Timiri. The monument Fort Kai Coverall is at the confluence of the Essequibo, Cuyuni, and Mazaruni rivers. Answers to homework. Did you do your homework? Let's check our answers. Two towns that are located in the hilly sand and clay region are Linden and Bartica. Two places that can be found at the confluence of the Essequibo, Cuyuni, and Mazaruni rivers are the ruins of Fort Kaikoveral and the Mazaruni prison. In this region, we can find the international airport at Timiri. Three resorts found in this region are ROI, splash mains, and oasis. Now remember, in our previous lessons, we have named more than those. So there are more than those three that I give you. Natural region, the forested highland region. We are moving on to another natural region, and this time we are doing the forested highland region. In today's lesson, we will learn about the forested highland region. Do you remember what is a natural region? A natural region is an area which is distinguished or identified by its common natural features. Example, its flora, that is the plants, fauna, animals, soil, climate, resources, and economic activities. The forested highland region. Map of Guyana showing the natural regions. If we look at our map that is on the other side of the page, we can see the natural regions there. At the top, you have the low coastal plain. Then you have the huge green area that is the highland forest or the forested highland region. We have the hilly sand and clay region and the savannas. But today, we are only looking at the forested highland region in this lesson. Map of Guyana showing the natural regions. Look at the map of Guyana. The area that is colored green represents the forested highland region. The forested highland region. Which natural region do you think is the largest? Indeed, it is the forested highland region. This is the largest natural region in Guyana, but it is the least populated. The forested highland region spans almost the entire country, from the north to the south. It covers two-thirds of the area of the country. We can see we have a pie chart there that is divided into three parts. 
And if you look at it, two parts are shaded green. Those two parts represent the two-thirds that is the forested highland region of Guyana. The forested highland region borders. It borders the other three natural regions, that is, the low coastal plain, the hilly sand and clay region, and the interior savanna. It also borders Guyana's three continental neighbors, Venezuela on the northwest, Brazil southwest, and Suriname on the east. Two of Guyana's tongues are found in this natural region. These are Mabaruma and Madia, the forested highland region. If we look carefully at the map of Guyana, we can see where this natural region borders the other natural regions and the continental neighbors. The area that is shaded green is the forested highland region. At the top, that light yellow strip there, that's the low coastal plain. Then we have the orange, that is the hilly sand and clay region. Then the parts of yellow, the bits of yellow, that is the interior savanna. And then we have Venezuela, Brazil, and Suriname. There is also a key there or at the bottom of the map. The forested highland region. Physical features. The forest covered mountains and highlands are the main features of this region. It has four mountain ranges. The Imataka, the Pacaraimas to the west, the Kanuku, southeast, and Sierra Akarai in the south. So those are our four mountain ranges, and they are the Imataka, the Pacaraimas, the Kanuku, and the Sierra Akarai. The highest peak, Mount Roraima, in the Pacaraima range is at the point where Guyana, Venezuela, and Brazil converge or meet. These areas are rich in minerals, including gold and diamonds. Mount Roraima is also the only tabletop mountain in the world. Let us watch a video. In this video, you will see part of the highlands that includes our famous tabletop mountain, which is Mount Roraima. I also have a picture there of Mount Roraima. Can you see how the top of the mountain is flat? That is the reason it is called tabletop, because the top of the mountain, there is no peak there. It is very flat like a table. Okay, you finished watching the video. Beautiful, isn't it? Let's continue. The forested highland region. Do you know this region is very important to Guyana? Let us find out how. This region is covered with thick forest. The forest grows thickly because of the heat and heavy rainfall. The forest provides us with lumber, balata, and exotic plants and animals. That is the flora and fauna. It is also a habitat for several animals. A habitat is a place where animals or organisms dwell. 
Many of our rivers start in the mountains and flow towards the ocean. Its beautiful scenery may encourage tourists. Scenery of the forested highland region. There we have our famous Kaichur waterfall. Then we have Chumachamari, that is an Amerindian village. We have another Amerindian village, Keiko, and we have a beautiful scene in the Pataro River. The forested highland region. Waterfalls on the rivers may provide a source of electricity to light up our homes and to provide power for factories. This power generated from water is called hydroelectricity. Now, years ago, Guyana started some of that in Lethem, and at the village you just seen Chumachamari, they had started using hydroelectricity, but they did not continue. And if we look at our map there, we can see we have a lot of rivers and waterfalls. We can also see our three main rivers, which are the Essequibo, Demerara, and the Barbies River. The forested highland region. This natural region is linked to the other natural regions by road, trails, and rivers. That is, in this region, you can travel from this region to go to the other region either by trails, road, or the river. The population of this region consists mostly of Amerindians. Here we have a picture of an Amerindian family, and then we have another picture of some men at work. Many people who are seen in this region do not belong there, but they go there to work. Remember we said that this region is sparsely populated. Many people you see there do not belong there. They go there to work only. The forested highland region, transportation. You can travel to this region by air, land, river, or waterways. The forested highland region, transportation. The quickest method traveling to and from this region is by aeroplane. The importance of air travel is that it provide quick and safe transport for miners, brings foodstuff to mining camps quickly, is used by government officers to conduct urgent business, enables the transport of sick and badly wounded persons to hospitals, transport soldiers to their interior camps. The forested highland region transportation, land and water, most people who travel to and from this region travel by land or water. Land and water transportation are more affordable and easily accessible to most residents. Here we have an interior road. This is a road that they may use to travel on to go to many occasions in the interior, different parts of the highland region. We also have a picture there of a trail, and you can see vehicles on that trail. Then we have a pontoon crossing at Mango Landing. Now this pontoon, it's a big pontoon, it's not a boat. Vehicles will go onto it, that will be trucks, um, trucks, buses, the four by four, the pickups, they will go onto it and it will take them across the river from one side of the river bank to the other side. Then we have another picture showing they are traveling by boat. Let us look back. What have you learned? We have learned the forested highland region is the largest natural region. It takes up two thirds of the area of the country and is the least populated natural region. Mount Roraima is the highest mountain peak and Guyana, Venezuela, and Brazil converge or meet at its point. This region is covered with thick forests, highlands, and exotic plants and animals. Mostly Amerindians live in this region. The scenery is beautiful and may attract tourists. 
You can travel by air, land, and water in this region. The quickest method of transportation is by air. Homework. Please make sure you do your homework. What is the name of Guyana's largest natural region? What is the name of Guyana's largest natural region? What fraction of the area of Guyana this natural region takes up? What fraction of the area of Guyana this natural region takes up? List two importance of air travel. List two importance of air travel. The population of this natural region consists mainly of the population of this natural region consists mainly of named countries with which this region shares a border. Named countries with which this region shares a border. Which is the highest mountain peak? Name one waterfall found in this region. Name one waterfall found in this region. Bye, boys and girls. See you in our next lesson. Please make sure you read, you revise, you do your homework. Stay safe. Have fun.